Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Hope y'all had a wonderful day today. I am here tonight with a brand new collection haul. Um, I received this sometime last week. Um, so this vendor, this is actually my third time to order from this vendor, but my second um, review here on YouTube. So my very first time that I ordered from her was like way at the beginning of my wax journey before I started making videos. Um, I really, really, really do like this vendor. Everything that I've, you know, melted every time I order, I'm just really, really pleased. Um, and this vendor is the Burning Mitten. So there is her card with all of her info. Um, so a couple of things about the Burning Mitten. In my opinion, I feel like this vendor is very underrated. Um, you know, if you get on YouTube, you really don't see a whole lot of hauls on the Burning Mitten. Um, Facebook though, she is very, very active on Facebook. And you know what, for the life of me, I cannot think of the owner's name. Um, it's not on the card. So maybe if you have ordered from the Burning Mitten and you happen to know the owner's name, maybe you could leave it in the comments for me because that's going to drive me crazy. Um, but this owner is very active on Facebook. Um, she, I think she posts something every day. <laughs> um, whether it's like a new scent that she has out or if she's marked, you know, things down on sale. Speaking of which, um, if you get on the website, The Burning Mitten, um, in her drop down menu, she has a section that is just for her, like things that are on clearance or on sale. She always has stuff marked down. In fact, this box right here um, was all from her clearance slash sale section on her website. Um, so in my order, I have 20 items. I got 19 of her scent shot cups and one of her clamshells all marked down. So I don't have an invoice, but if I remember correctly, don't quote me, but if I remember correctly, her little scent shots normally go for, I want to say between, oh, is it? between three and four dollars. I don't know. That may not be right. Um, all I know is I got these um, for about a dollar and sixty cents. That was the clearance price. And then her clamshell, I want to say normal price is maybe four dollars or five. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I really, I should have looked before I videoed, but you can get on the website and check it out. Um, but when I placed this order, this being in the clearance section, I think I got this for $2 and some odd cents. So a really good price. Um, shipping is, is pretty reasonable as well. Um, shipping super fast. Everything comes packaged so nicely. So here is my box with all of my goodies. Um, you can't see it, but she always uses the little brown paper worms that I like so much. Um, and then she's also very generous with samples. So we will start with those first. I got four samples here. Uh, okay, so we'll start with this one. Um, and another thing about the Burning Mitten, oh, I have an eyelash or something. It's driving me crazy. Um, another thing about the Burning Mitten is I love her labels. I actually love like the whole look of this company, her labels, her shot cups, her aesthetic, just everything is just really, really nice. And like I said, everything that I've ordered, um, has been a great performer. I love her blends. I love her scents. So yeah, A plus in my book. I would highly, highly recommend this company. I'm going to get this eyelash if it is the last thing I do. It's driving me crazy. Okay. First one in my sample is winter is coming. 
So on the front, you get your scent name, and then on the back here, you get your scent notes and your pour date. So you pretty much have everything you need on your label. Um, this was poured September of last year. Scent notes are fresh sparkling snow, snowflakes and cashmere, and frozen lakes. So I don't know what frozen lakes is, um, but I have given all of these a quick sniff, just, just so you know. <laughs> and this is in a pretty leaf shape. But I love this. I absolutely love this. There's something minty about this. So I don't know if that is the frozen lakes. I don't know. But this is so pretty. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. But like when I say minty, I don't mean like, like a eucalyptus or a menthol kind of thing. It's just very like crisp and clean kind of like fresh winter air. I absolutely love that. I would get that in a bigger size because that's really, really nice. Okay, my next sample is Electric Unicorn, poured December of last year. Uh, scent notes are Fruit Loops and Unicorn Farts. So I have actually heard of unicorn farts before. I've even heard of monkey farts. Um, I know that is a very popular uh, scent note that vendors use. I don't know what it is, however. <laughs> and it's this shape. And on the back is like this really cool tie-dye thing going on. So to tell you the truth, um, yeah, all I get in this is Fruit Loops. So I don't know what Unicorn Farts is. I really can't even smell anything but the Fruit Loops, which is still more than okay with me because I love Fruit Loop cereal scents in wax. So that is going to be a really fun one. My next sample is Midnight Kiss. This was poured October of last year. Scent notes are champagne snow showers, forever midnight, and champagne kisses. So, I don't know if maybe I am just like still new to the wax melt party because I really don't know what any of these are. I have never heard of champagne snow showers. I've never heard of forever midnight, and I've never heard of champagne kisses. Um, let me show you the shapes because they're really, really cute. So I got a pair of lips there and then this really cute pair of heart glasses. So I have to be honest, I am not a fan of this one. I don't know if it's the champagne because there's like two things on here, champagne, snow shower, champagne kisses. I don't know if that's what I'm smelling that I don't really care for. To me, this smells like a body care, but like a, a body care that I don't really <laughs> enjoy. It's got some note in it that's just not for me. Um, but I can pass this on to someone because I have many friends that enjoy scents like this. Um, but I really appreciate the sample, so thank you. And my last one is the Nutty Pumpkin, poured August of last year. Uh, scent notes are Pumpkin Spice Latte, Mountain Hazelnut Cafe, and Whipped Cream. And this is in a Super cute bone shape. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I remember when I first got my box and I smelled all of these, I fell in love with this one and immediately like made a mental note. I need more of this. If she offers this in a clam or a shot or a loaf, whatever, I need more of this because this is absolutely amazing, delicious, it's so good. I don't really get the pumpkin spice latte, but I definitely get the hazelnut and the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. oh, 
looks so good. That is how I like my coffee scents in wax. I can't do black, bitter, fresh coffee. That's just really not pleasant to me. I have to have coffee with all of the caramel and the cream and the whipped cream. And oh my gosh, this is so good. The Nutty Pumpkin, love it. All right, so that is it for my samples. Thank you so much for those. So we will get into my order. Um, we'll start with my one lonely little clamshell here and then we will get into my shots. So as I said, um, everything that I got in this order was from her sale clearance uh, section on her site. And there were a lot of things listed, um, but this one clamshell just really kind of spoke to me. Um, her clamshells are three ounces. And again, with the label, you get everything that you uh, that you really need, all you need actually, because you get your scent name, scent notes, and pour date. So I am not going to tell you the pour dates of all of these. All I can say is that um, I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm almost positive that all of um, the things I ordered were poured last year, 2022. So... That makes me think that maybe her reasoning for putting things on clearance or on sale is maybe she's got like some older scents that she needs to kind of clear out. Um, so all of these being from last year means I don't really have to cure them super long. Some of these, probably all of these are ready to go now. So that's an awesome thing for me. Okay, so this is White Girl Wasted. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Um, scent notes are Watermelon Jolly Ranchers, Strawberry Daiquiri, and Pina Colada. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, first of all, look how pretty that is. And that's another thing that I want to say about the Burning Mitten is everything um, that she offers will have some kind of decoration whether it be sparkle, glitter, confetti. Um, she decorates her clams. She decorates her scent shots. I Okay, so I will say there are no decorations on the samples, but her bigger things, yes, will always have some kind of decoration. I know that is not for everybody, but that is awesome for me um, because I love that kind of stuff. The more decoration, the better. Um, and look how pretty that is. I love this pink color. Oh, this smells like the most delicious, like frozen mixed cocktail drink <laughs> that you ordered on the beach with one of those little umbrella straws in it. This is so mm, delicious. Like it really does make my mouth water. It's so good. Oh, I get everything. I really do. I get the watermelon, I get the strawberry, and I get the pina colada. I also get like some kind of pineapple-y note in this. Maybe that's coming from the pina colada, but this is so so good. Another one that I need more of. That is amazing. I could see having this like going all summer long. Like that is the epitome of a summer scent. It's delicious. I love it. All right. So now we will get into my shot cups. I have 19 of these babies. Um, <laughs> so um, her scent shots are two ounces and I Guys, I love these cups. Like, I get scent shots all the time, um, but these cups, like, I love the oval, like, size. I love, like, how sturdy and strong they are, and they're also, like, super easy to stack and store. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of these. So, this one is Sun Your Boom Boom. You get the scent name on the front. And on the other side, you get your pour date and your scent notes. So scent notes for this one, sun your buns, which don't know what that is, but like the name was just too cute for me to pass up. Sun your buns and boom, boom. And boom, boom, 
is a scent that I am slowly coming around to loving. Absolutely love it. I didn't start out loving it, but yeah, the more things I ordered with Boom Boom, I just, yeah, I was like, this is really, it's kind of like a combination of bakery and body care. It's just, it's like delicious and beautiful at the same time. <laughs> And this is so, so good. I don't know what Sun Your Buns is, but I do get the boom boom in this. And then I get almost like a, like a tropical sunscreen, suntan lotion kind of thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to say I get like pineapple in this too, like a coconutty, pineapple-y sunscreen, you know, like copper tone or something. That is awesome. Love that. So we are starting off on a good note. <laughs> All right. My next one is Don't Push Your Luck. Scent Notes. Lucky Charms, Orange Sherbet, and Sugar Cookie Dough. And this one is so cute. So it's called Don't Push Your Luck. And then you've got some, um, what are those called? shamrock clover things for your decorations and i've noticed that that a lot of times her decoration will kind of match the name of her scent which i think is really fun hmm. okay so so this one was poured february of 2022 so almost coming up to a year old on this um it's a little bit on the light side, um, and I really don't get the Lucky Charms, and that surprises me because I thought, being a cereal note, that I would pick up on that, and I really don't even get the sugar cookie dough either. I just get a little bit of the orange sherbet. Yeah, so um, we'll see, like on warm, if those other two notes come out, but right now I'm just getting like some creamy orangey stuff. It's still nice though. And I have learned with the burning mitten that a lot of times her scents um, will come alive and transform once you uh, start warming them. All right, next one. This boop is bananas. This boop is bananas. I don't know if that's focusing, but the label is S-H boop T. This is bananas. You get it. <laughs> Set notes are vanilla pudding, bananas, vanilla wafers, banana pudding, and whipped cream. Love, love me some banana scents. I mean, I love banana scents. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. This is not um, <clears throat> Laffy Taffy. It's not runt. It's not artificial. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is creamy, creamy banana pudding. Like, this is so good. And like, you know, I've had banana pudding scents from vendors before. But this might be like one of the better ones. Seriously. Because when I smell this, I smell the whipped cream. I smell the pudding. I even smell like the vanilla wafers. Like I get that cookie note. That is so, 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 so good. Love that. Next one is Green Goddess. Scent notes are Honeydew Melon, Green Apple Jolly Ranchers, and Kiwi. Here's the decoration. Oh, this one is really interesting. Okay, I really like this, but it is, it's very interesting. I'm going to tell you why. So I love honeydew melon. I love any melon scent. I also love green apple. Um, now kiwi, I honestly don't know if I've ever had kiwi in a scent before. I don't even know, like, does kiwi have a smell? Can you smell that in, in a wax smelt? I don't know. So what I'm smelling, I feel like, the honeydew melon is not immediately like noticeable and neither is the green apple. I'm smelling something that that feels like 
or it smells like a combination of what a honeydew melon and a green apple Jolly Rancher would smell like together. Like, I feel like what I'm smelling is not one or the other. It's both of them mixed. And it's really, it's fun. It's like really, really good. Um, that is going to be a really, really fun one to melt and see what happens to that one on warm. Okay, next one, green with envy. Scent notes, mint chocolate chip, sugar cookie dough, and vanilla sugar waffle cone. Okay, yeah. So, so let me ask y'all something. When y'all get sugar cookie dough or like anything with sugar cookie in a blend, are you able to like detect it? Because I've noticed that sometimes, I guess it depends on the blend or the vendor, sometimes the sugar cookie note is like really, really, really strong. And other times I really have to search for it. Same with like, you know, vanilla or, you know. So on this one, I don't really feel like I'm getting the vanilla sugar waffle cone or the sugar cookie dough. I am getting the mint chocolate chip. It's not heavy on the mint. It's not heavy on the chocolate. It's a little bit subdued, a little bit toned down. I mean, I'm definitely getting it. Um, so, I mean, maybe the vanilla is kind of like toning that mint down a little bit. So another one that we'll see what happens on warm. Next one is watermelonade. I think that's so cute. Watermelonade. Um, oh, wow. The scent notes are, they're written in yellow, so they're really hard to see. Sour watermelon candy, lemonade, and melonade. And I love this pink color. Look at that. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is nice. This is really, really good. This smells a lot like the Bath & Body Works Watermelon Lemonade. And I love that candle. I get it every summer. And that's that's what this is reminding me of. Just a really nice um, mixture of watermelon and lemonade. Yeah, love it. All right, next one is Free Spirit. Okay, so this one right here might have been like the one that really intrigued me the most from this order. Okay, so listen to these scent notes. Cucumber melon, spearmint, salty sea air, and blackberry jam. Okay, and I just, I love like, it's simple, but it's so pretty, the decorations. So, oh, this is, oh my gosh, you guys. I need more of this one too. So we're going to go through this. All right, so cucumber melon, huge fan of cucumber melon. I wouldn't say I'm getting that like right off the bat. I think the longer I sit here and sniff it and smell it, then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm picking up on that. But I definitely get the spearmint. I'm definitely getting some salty sea air and I'm getting the blackberry jam. Those scent notes together, like I don't think I would have ever, ever put those together, but it works, it works, it works so well. The spearmint, I was a little bit hesitant because sometimes I've had spearmint in wax before and you end up just smelling like a stick of gum. Um, but it does not overtake this blend. It, mixes in so nicely this is amazing oh okay i need more of that too because that one is really really good free spirit my next one is pebbles flintstone this is fruity pebbles funfetti cheesecake and rice crispy treats okay first of all the orange color is amazing and then i want to show you there is a little piece of confetti right there that is a bone to go with Pebbles Flintstone. How stinking cute is that? Yep, I love it. 
I love this. I was not sure I was going to pick up on the Funfetti cheesecake note, but I do. I get a creaminess. Oh, wow. Is this good? I also get the Fruity Pebbles. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, she does cereal scents really, really well. That one is fun. Love it. All right. And cereal notes um, or cereal scents. I tend to put these aside for the summer months, um, like the watermelon and things like that and cereal. Those are usually things that work better for me and in my home, like once we hit May, June, July. So I'll probably put those aside for a little bit later, as well as this one here. This is Purple Cow. And Purple Cow is grape soda, vanilla ice cream, grape cream sickle, and whipped cream. Um, I love that purple. How pretty. Grape is another one that just, I don't know, in my mind, I can't really see enjoying grape scents. Like right now, this is more of a summertime scent for me. So I'll put this aside for the summer as well. But this is awesome. This is so good. Um, I'm not sure like how much of the grape soda I get. This is more of like a grape Kool-Aid because um, grape soda for me, I would expect to smell or like to pick up on some of those like effervescent bubbly notes. And I don't really get that in this. I get more of like that, that powder, the Kool-Aid powder that you, you know, that you put in your pitcher when you make grape Kool-Aid. And this is such like a memory maker for me um, because growing up, my mom always made me a pitcher of the grape Kool-Aid. So yeah, this brings back a ton of memories. Love it. My next one is Arnold Palmer. Who doesn't love an Arnold Palmer? Sweet iced tea and lemonade. I have a two-tone here, how pretty. So I'm assuming you have your sweet iced tea on the top and your lemonade on the bottom. Oh, yes, that's so fun. Oh, wow. Yeah, she did good with this one. And it's perfectly balanced. Like one of those is not stronger than the other. I get the lemonade and I get that iced tea. It kind of reminds me of like a, a Lipton sweet iced tea, but that is so good. Another one that's going to be great for the summer. Okay, my next one is Little Bo Peep. This is clean cotton, wild peach poppies, lavender, and coconut. All right, so I'm going to show you how pretty it is, and then we'll, we will discuss. Um, so I... I'm really, really wanting this year, 2023, to be my year to branch out um, with my like love for wax, my scent preferences, my scent choices, um, because I feel like for so long when I first got into my wax journey, you know, I just felt like I had blinders on and it was just bakery, 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 and I really didn't want to explore any other like scents or blends, which is great. Bakery is great. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't know, like the more I place orders and the more I kind of experience with different vendors, guys, like some of these blends are just too amazing to pass up. And so, you know, I've got so many bakery things in my collection. And so I was like, you know, I really want to be able to experiment more with like lavender scents and scents that would work in a bedroom. Not to say that bakery doesn't work in a bedroom, but you know, like my husband even made a comment. He was like, what could we put on, you know, at nighttime to kind of help us wind down and relax? And so I was, okay, yeah, I guess I need to maybe try out some more of those, you know, body care kind of things or lavender kind of things or you know laundry or I don't know I'm really just trying to branch out so I felt like this one was a good one um because it's not like two out there but it's not one that I would normally have picked up uh 
Now the clean cotton, yeah, I mean, this is this has got just a, a cleanness, a freshness about it. I'm not picking up on a whole lot of the peach poppies. Lavender I get, but I get the coconut more. Um, but yeah, this one is really nice. That, yeah, that's really, really nice. It's just real clean and fresh and relaxing. So I can see that working in a bedroom. I could see it working in a bathroom. Um, but I'm glad to have that. And so I'm proud of myself for starting to branch out. You'll see a couple of others in here that are a little bit out of my comfort zone, such as this one right here. <laughs> this is Deja Vu. This is Avo Bath, Coconut, and Boom Boom. So I have heard um, many people talk about how much they enjoy, is it Avo Bath or Avo Bath? I am not familiar with it, um, but I am, you know, familiar with Boom Boom and Coconut. So I was like, well, it can't be that bad. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So I don't get a whole lot of the Boom Boom in this. And I actually don't get a whole lot of coconut. So I'm assuming what I'm smelling is the Avo Bath, which it's not bad at all. Um, it kind of is making me think like a little bit laundry like I'm getting a little bit of a laundry vibe and a little bit of a body care soapy vibe I don't know if that's what Avo Bath is I probably need to google that and read more about it um but I mean it's not bad at all I don't see melting this in my living room right now I mean maybe later down the road in my wax journey I could enjoy scents like this like out in my open concept but Right now, this is something that I would just like strictly want to have in my bathroom. Like that makes me think of bathroom scent. Okay, next we have Peachy Keen Jelly Bean. Love that name. This is Peach Nectar Jelly Beans and Fizzy Soda. And again, with her cute confetti, she's got the little bunny rabbits on there. Oh, yes, this is so fun. Oh, wow. So there was another one over there that she had the wild peach poppies, and I really didn't pick up on that. I definitely get the peach in this. I get like the, the like fleshy, I don't think peaches have pulp, but you know that fleshy, pulpy part of the peach? That's what I get in this. And I do get some jelly beans and I get the fizzy soda. I get all three of those things in here. And she's got a great fizzy soda. Like this is so fun, so fizzy, so flirty, I guess you would call it. Oh, that's just like a happy scent. Like I don't see how you could have that going and not be happy. That just puts you in the best mood. So fun. Next one is Kiss the Girl. This is Mermaid Smooches, Mermaid Munchies, and Turquoise Waters. And this was actually poured January 14th, 2022. So this is well over a year old. Oh, how cute. Look at her confetti. So you have, I don't know where she finds this awesome confetti, but there's a mermaid there and a whale or a dolphin. Oh, how fun. I just love that kind of stuff. I just think that really shows attention to detail. I just think it's fun. This is amazing. I don't know what any of these things are. Well, turquoise waters, but I don't know what mermaid smooches are. I don't know what mermaid munchies are. Um, but this is like just so aquatic and beachy. Yeah, this makes me feel as if I'm walking along um, the shore, my feet are in the sand, the waves are coming up, crashing. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Love that one. Next one is strawberry lemonade. Everybody needs a strawberry lemonade scent. 
and it's just strawberry soda and lemonade another two-tone one so you've got your red for your strawberry and yellow for your lemonade and that's exactly what you get yeah straight to the point I love it yeah it's great like 50 50 not one is overpowering the other it's perfect okay this one is impeachment and it is georgia peaches mint mojito and fizzy soda look at that beautiful green color yeah okay she does fizzy really really well i love her fizzy scents um I'm not getting a whole lot of the peaches in this, but I'm getting mint and I'm getting fizzy. Like this kind of makes me think of like a, a really, really strong ginger ale maybe with some extra mint. Yeah, I don't get the peaches. They could come out later on warm, but I mean, if it stayed like that, I'd be fine because that's really, really good love it yeah i really like her fizzy scents okay we have three more i know it's a long video thanks for sticking with me this is lip smackers and scent notes are bubble gum cotton candy marshmallow fluff and birthday cake another one poured on january 14th of last year so i could start melting this like tomorrow look at this awesome scent shot you guys that pink and then oh, how fun i love this oh my gosh this is so fun i get the bubble gum right off the bat and i know you know bubble gum is one of those things in wax that not everybody enjoys i love it i think it just puts you in such a good mood you know also brings you back to your childhood. Like I've had some bubble gum in wax before and I swear when I melted it, like I smelled hubba bubba, like my whole house smelled like hubba bubba bubble gum and it's just so, so fun. I don't think bubble gum is one of those things that you want to have all the time. I think it's just kind of when the mood strikes you, but I get it in this. Birthday cake and eh. marshmallow fluff and eh. maybe some cotton candy. Yeah, I would say I get bubble gum first and then maybe some cotton candy underneath. So this is very sweet. Um, and I do like sweet scents um, if they're done well. And that one is done really, really well. So excited for that one. Two more. All right. Okay, speaking of going out of my comfort zone a little bit, this is Bad Hair Day spelled h-a-r-e not hair um uh, scent notes are rosemary mint coconut milk lavender and vanilla bean noel so pretty look at that oh wow okay so rosemary mint i do love rosemary mint like um at Bath and Body Works, for example, the stress relief line, like with the eucalyptus and the mint and all of that, <sighs> love it, love that so much. Now, rosemary, I can take or leave, because sometimes it can be really, really strong. Um, when I read these scent notes, I was thinking, okay, this is going to be such a relaxing blend to put on maybe like in the bathroom when you're taking a bubble bath or you know when you're kind of laying in bed getting ready to go to sleep and it is it's very very relaxing i do get the rosemary mint it's it's strong um there is some creaminess from the coconut milk i don't really get the lavender though but when i smell this like it does it smells like a very relaxing lavender lotion that you would put on not lavender lotion i'm sorry like a a minty stress relief lotion yeah because i don't really get lavender in that i get more mint um 
but I'm excited. I, I'm going to try these out and report back to y'all on an empties and let you know. And my last one is Get Your Freak On. Save the best for last. This is Sour Watermelon Candy, Green Apple Jolly Ranchers, and Cotton Candy. Oh, yeah. Save the best for last. This is so good. I love watermelon. I love green apple. I can't really pick up on the cotton candy in this. I'm just getting watermelon and green apple. Probably more green apple, though. That's what I'm smelling first. Oh, this is amazing. It does. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. It's so good. Oh, guys, I am so blown away by this order. Um, making sure I didn't forget anything. I love this order. I love this vendor. Again, it's the Burning Mitten. If you have never placed an order with this vendor, I highly, highly recommend um, that you do. She's got great sales all the time. Um, amazing blends. I, I can't wait to start melting this stuff and report back to y'all. So thank you again for clicking on. I'm so sorry that I went over 40 minutes. I don't think I've ever done a 40 minute video, um, but I had to share this with y'all and um, so I could start melting these babies like ASAP. Thanks so much for being a part of my channel. If you are not already a part of my channel, I would love for you to uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and um, be part of my wax journey, be part of Carrie's Collections. Thanks again for uh, seeing me tonight, and I will tell y'all bye-bye until the next video. Have a great night. Bye.